Good morning guys! We are on the run up to my next show with UKUP. I am just under three weeks out. I was three weeks out yesterday. And not yet the day before. Yeah, not yet the day before. Um, so this morning I had my shot of L-carnitine and then I did 20 minute faster cardio on the bike. And what I do when I'm doing faster cardio usually is I will put either prep age or vapor rub on my stomach and then I will wrap it in a neoprene wrap just to help sweat out any of that sebaceous fluid. I have a lot of problems with water retention which I'm trying to sort out um, and that really just helps get rid of some of that and helps show damn abs. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick ab circuit now, like really, really quick. I'm just gonna do some side to sides Russian twists. Um, <sighs> cats again. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do some side to sides Russian twists, sit ups, um, just a few bits like that, just to give my ab a quick blast this morning because they're looking a little bit flat and I know it's not because of the skin today um, I can feel that they are actually quite flat this morning so I'm just gonna try and give them a little boost and then I'm probably gonna have liquid egg whites for breakfast I use the ones from two chicks because they're free range and then I have a million and one chores to do so I have to pop out of the house and run around like a lunatic but I will check back in with you guys later so See you then, bye! So here's breakfast. I am cooking up four ounces of the Two Chicks uh, liquid egg whites. And I put an egg in there as well because I think I heard somewhere that if you put an egg with your egg whites it helps your body absorb the protein better. Um, but also I need more fats today so I'm going to get some fats from the egg whites. And my decaf coffee live on coffee but I'm having to have decaf at the moment to try and help my adrenals so thankfully this one tastes quite nice it's the decaf car noir um, so if you're looking for a tasty decaf then I would recommend that one and once I've had this I'm gonna jump in the shower get my hair and makeup done and then I am off out so I'll probably have a protein shake to take with me and I always do my BCA waters as well so see you later okay so here I'm just trying out a quick bit of pose practice ready for UK UP um, my camera doesn't go far enough back to kind of get my whole body in and the main focus area for me this time is getting the position on my legs correct and the twist on my torso. In my first show I was standing off at a, at a big twisted angle so I've been trying to kind of work on that a little bit more which is why I've got the angle kind of focused on my butt. <laughs> but it was just a super super quick practice of my quarter turns just so I can critique myself and correct any little bits next time I pose. So this is today's look. I've done my hair a bit differently than normal. I actually bothered to straighten up once and do my makeup. Although that was like a quick five minute kind of shotgun of makeup to the face. But um, yeah, so got my new leggings from Fit and Fast. I got those at Body Power on the weekend. They're a new company, they're just starting up, and I love the design on these, they're gorgeous. So I'm gonna go online and I'm gonna order some more of them because they're really nice. They're so comfy as well. They do sizes from like extra small to. And of course I'm wearing my strongest beautiful necklace because I haven't taken it off since I got it. <laughs> well apart from my like from my photo shoot, but I haven't done that anyway, so. Anyways, I'm gonna go down the street and get all my shopping done and run around like a lunatic and then it's leg day! So oh yeah, I've got my 22 press-ups to do as well because at the minute we're doing 22 press-ups for 22 days to help raise awareness for the, of the high suicide rate in the very community. So um, I'll probably do a vlog about that at some point as well. So I'm gonna go get those done. I'll see you later, guys. Hey, so 
it's meal prepping time and I decided today instead of the usual white fish fillets I get I decided to try some bassa. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure first time I've ever seen it or ever had it so I will give it a go. I did a quick google on how to cook it and it recommended garlic and lemon so I'm putting some granulated Californian garlic onto it and I'm gonna put some squeezy lemon on I'm cooking that in foil Really, just gonna throw it in the oven and leave that cooking for I'll check it at half an hour and then I'll check it again after that and I usually forget about my food and then by the time I do check it it's like a shriveled up mess but because I'm doing it in foil it doesn't necessarily burn so I'm not a very good cook <laughs> I have learned a lot more cooking during my like comp prep than I have my entire life I mean I can bake cupcakes I, like if you ask me to make a cupcake I will just throw things into a bowl and you will always get delicious cupcakes out of you, but like normal food yeah <laughs> I am a crap cook so another thing that I'm doing when I do my meal prep is microwavable steamer so much easier for me to use that than it is for me to attempt to use pots and pans and stuff. Yeah, that's cooked. So what I do is I've got my little digital scales and I weigh out all of my ingredients into my plastic containers. on quite securely on most of them so I can just put them in my handbag and take them with me uh, today I actually ate one of these while I was walking down the street because I was in so much of a hurry so they do come in really really handy I measure out my food and then I write it on a little piece of paper and I just stick it on the top so I know exactly what is in each of my meals so I can make some of my meals that are lower carb higher fat I can make some that are higher protein, lower carb, whatever I want. I can cater that in each one and I can tell just by looking at the ingredients which one I can have that day or if I'm feeling low on my fats, I'll grab a higher fat one. And it works out much easier like that and it gives me a little bit more variety than just having the same thing all the time. I don't want fish and broccoli all the time. I don't want chicken and sweet potato all the time. I mean, they are the main ingredients in my foods, but I will season everything differently. I will put different ingredients with each other and it just mixes it up a little bit and keeps things a little bit more interesting than it would normally be. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is I'm just weighing out my asparagus. So at the minute I'm having in this meal 100 gram of chicken, 50 gram of sweet potato and 50 gram of asparagus. I'll show you guys what that is. I can't wait to open it up and give it a go. It looks 
open my first piece of actual mechanical gym equipment. As some of you might know, I do all of my working out at home. I use free weights for everything. And I use like a little pull-up bar between my bedroom door and that is literally, that is the extent of the equipment I have. I've never set foot into a gym in my life. Um, so, I've never used gym equipment before. <laughs> this should be kind of fun to watch me kind of really screw up and look like an absolute ass trying this. <laughs> so I will film it for you and obviously my husband is going to take the piss out of me too. I just know it. <laughs> but anyways, I will show you that in a minute. bit of equipment and I can't wait to open it. It is, I get turned around, I have no muscles today. It's a weightlifting bench and it's got all the different attachments for working different areas. So I'm really looking forward. Well, because of the 
two black pepper. Like, cut that right. So you probably actually two plates, like the flat plates you got. What flat plates? On your left, on your left. Oh, yeah. 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 Two of those. I only got one. Well, one of them is
Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Cookie Katana. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.